to the January Universal Yum Box. Now this is from the land of poets and thinkers, which is Germany. Okay, so let's just dive right in. Okay. Let me see what we got here. What, what's the guy tell us? So, I don't know. Let's see the first one. This says these yums have traveled all the way from the land of Germany. And so you get a cute little map here with the different things on it and where each um, snack is from, from what region. Okay. okay. Okay, what do we got? The first one is Lauren's Curly Peanut Puffs. Lauren's Curly Peanut Puffs. That's what she had first. Oh, yay. Hold this up for the camera. Okay, it looks like hey, Cheetos. They look like kind of like Cheetos. Curly like, Peanut Puffs. So they might be like peanut, peanut butter flavored Cheetos. That sounds really good because I really love peanut butter. And buttered. these are from, where are these from? Germany. No way. No, which part of Germany? Hmm. No way. No way. You had corn puffs, you've had peanut butter, and now you're going to have them together. It's a German fusion meant to be. I don't care. Wild sweetness of corn puffs. All right, Zach, you try one. Ooh, they do. They look just like little Cheetos, but I can already smell the peanut butter flavor oh. smell. Oh, so good. I can already smell the peanut butter flavor. Taste one? Peanut butter. I love this one. It's very crunchy. Yeah. Well, those are interesting. Can I, take okay. this, can I take this stuff out of the box? Can what's next? Let's pick out what's next. Can I take this stuff out of the box? Pick out something from the box and show us what it is. That one next? Yeah, I think. What is it? That is. Let's see. Okay, that's that. Calm down. Onion flavored corn rings. Ooh, like little onion rings. These are every October, thousands of gather in the city of Weimar. What? Um, and there is one reason and one reason only they gather for onions at the famous Zwiebelmarkt, the famous onion market in Weimar. I kind of like onions. So let's try these um, onion flavored corn rings representing Weimar. That's where you should taste it first. Weimar. Mmm, those smell so good. You want to smell first? It smells strange. Mmm. So they're little tiny kind of onion ring chips. My gosh, these are good. Like they're almost like sour. You don't like them, guys? Oh, they're great. They're like sour cream and onion. Wait, Daddy's going to love those. Actually, mm. I, I, I think I, I love them. I don't like them. Mm. I, I want to go to an onion market in Weimar, Germany. Yeah. Yum. Actually, you like them? Tell, the, tell the audience. Mm. They're good. I better know. than the peanut pups? I like them better than the peanut pups. Can I choose one? Mm-hmm. I, I like the bag of ice cream fries. Zitrone? Zitrone. It looks like melon. Waffle. Zitrone waffle. I think that translates citrus waffle. So, or waffle. Wafers. Wafers with lemon cream. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So it's like, they kind of have like this waffle. Yeah, I have like They kind of look like vanilla wafers. Wait. So they say Germans take it to a whole new level. Wait. Um, Hold on. In Germany, frequent snacks are just as important as their three square meals. So this is um, is something they might eat for towel roast or second breakfast about 10.30 in the morning. What? That's the lemon cream filling. I want to try it. Like, oh, and look, I try it first. I want to try it first. You try some onion things first. She picked this one. Everyone calm down. You keep eating your onion rings. Is that what you're getting into, buddy? Those are good. Okay. Ooh, first let's smell. Let's show. So right away you can see the little wafers and cream in there. It smells so good. There's a very minimal packaging. It's like I was just expecting another layer of packaging to get through, but this is like right it's away. You open it up, you can see it. Let's smell. Mmm. It smells like a little lemon even... pastry. Yeah, they right. like with lemon. They're like their little lemon waffle pastry crisps, and we're gonna break. Ooh, you think you can eat that whole thing? They're kind of a nice big, oh, you got two. So they're little wafer sticks. Cool, let's try them. Here. Oh, thank you. We might save them if they're really good. They're pretty good. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. They're, they're a little dusty mm. from the lemon. I like them though. Mm. Oh, waffle. Waffle, mint, cream, Mommy, 
It's wafers good. with cream for me. Mm. And mm-hmm. Scooby, we can have this for breakfast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right away, right away. Right, right, right. We have little similar cakes. Um, Mine. They have like cream between each layer. Yeah, and so I just mm-hmm. like, we can, we can eat this for breakfast and school day. Mm-hmm. Like little creams inside. Mm-hmm. All right, Annabelle, you finish up that lemon wafer, and Zachary and I will figure out what's next. Zach, pick something else out from the box. Okay. We have a few more of those left. I'm going to really good. Probably the best thing so far, huh? Probably. Yeah, I think so, too. I'm going to pick this. Ooh. It's only one. Right away, the word poppy seed jumps out at me. So this is a Shoko Monk poppy seed bar. I don't know what it is. White chocolate with poppy seeds. So I'm going to get a hold up. So it looks like... So, can y'all see that? It's a chocolate bar. Sugar yeah, Monk Poppy Seed. So, let's see. Is it chocolate? Is you open that. It is. White chocolate with poppy seeds. Interesting. So, um... Can we help you that? No. So, in Germany, if you walk into any local bakery, you'll be bombarded with countless speckled desserts. Wait, look at it. Look at it. From all of so the Monk Street Zolt or Poppy Seeds. It looks like, like, like kind of like a, a Oreo, like a white, um... White oh, chocolate like cookies and cream. Cookies yeah. and cream. Um, Kit Kat. I like that. So the nutty bitterness brings balance to the richness of desserts. And it is, um, so you can break them into little nugget bars, like company nugget bars. Yeah, like there's these little. Let's do it. Oh, we were going to do it at the same time. And so um, they have everything from poppy seed rolls to ice yeah. poppy seed braids and poppy seed cake. And now That's poppy cool. seed white chocolate. Doesn't taste like poppy seed though. Mmm. 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 You can see the little poppy seed. Uh, it's kind of like um, the white taste. chocolate. Mm-hmm. You can only taste the white mm-hmm. chocolate. And mm-hmm. milk. Let's save that. Mm-hmm. This is really good. And that is delicious. And bro, let's save that. Yeah, let's save that. Vice chocolate mit lemon. Yeah. Let's hide it from daddy. Let's mm-hmm. yeah, hide it from daddy. He's asleep. He's going to watch the here. video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not very subtle. Okay. All right, next we have these little, so we have two things left. These are Sunrise Crunchy Noose, 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 um, Hazelnut Sunrise, so it's milk chocolate, yes, milk chocolate, as you can tell, I really like that. Yeah, she loves milk chocolate. With puffed rice cereal, hazelnuts, and cocoa yeah. cream. Not yet, bro, we can't move on yet. Please use the TV. That can it's be- a little grab bag of fun, I know, but let's see what's going on first. Okay. So you know how school kids are always trying to trade for better snacks, say turkey sandwich, et cetera? Well, in Germany, the one snack that everyone wants to get their hands on is Sunrise. Look at this. Let's break this in half for you guys. Crunchy cereal squares are the most popular school bag treats across oh Germany. Oh, my gosh. Crispy try. corn cereal, puffed rice, roasted hazelnuts, and milky cocoa cream, which is going to be the bomb. Oh, my gosh. Is it delicious? The texture is kind of like, Zachary doesn't like it. You don't like it? Like, you are not allowed to be in my no. videos. Hold on. Okay. Mm. It kind of, the texture is kind of like a Rice Krispie treat inside. Mm-hmm. If you look at there. You don't like that? Mm. That's delicious. Mm, it's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's actually just not like it. I don't want to lie. Really? Mm-hmm. And last but not least. Ah. What's that? Um... We have this, what is this called? It's like a, wait, it's a, I'm going to, I'll get, I'll get this one. It's like a little, oh, it's a carnival themed yum bag. Hold on, I'm going to watch, oh my gosh. No, it's okay. Wait, do you see that? Do you see that on? Um, so it's a little that? yum bag. Do you, do you see that on inside of there? Can I eat it? Yeah, so you can have that. And it's got little different kinds of like, almost looking like Starburst candies and little sweet tarts. Yeah. So, these are Mr. Blubber Lucky Gluck Coins. I want to try one of those. Ah, they have, they typically come in an assortment of sherbet flavors, including cola, lemon, Zachary. raspberry, cherry, or orange. Zachary's running around the table. So, you guys open these up. You can they use scissors good. if you need to. This says, since the 1700s, shiny copper pennies, um, called Finny, have been kept by locals to drive away. Oh my goodness, not on camera. Say, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, Germans carried coins in their pockets to drive away dark magic and protect themselves from lies and trickery. 
And they even nailed if, the money to their doors to ward off witches and sorcerers. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it kind of looks like a mushroom on there. Isn't that crazy? They still exchange them in Germany throughout the month of January, for, but not exactly for the same reasons. These shiny tokens have a different meaning to bring luck and wealth, as well as ensure that one's money doesn't run out all year. It's kind of sour. Is it sour? You licked it? Put it in your mouth and eat it. I, I'm so sour, though. You can't really bite it. I mm. can't really bite it. I can't what do you think? Mm. I can't bite it. It's hard. Maybe. Oh. Um. What? Uh, what does it taste like? That. What she said. Was sour chocolate. Sour chocolate. It was pink and orange. Oh. I think it's yes. there's a lemon on it. There's a lemon. Supposed to be fizzy and fruity. Is it fizzy? And this one, mine kind of tastes like strawberry. Hmm. So this is um something they eat during carnival, too. Okay, and then finally, these are little chewy candies and fruit toffees, they call them. So apparently apple, I got the orange one. Apparently in Germany, ap ap apple is called ap apple. Ap apple. Apple? And what, what have you got? What what is the, uh, let me see. Orange. Orange. Oh, no, grapefruit. Grapefruit. Which is apparently called grapefruit. <laughs> it's, it's the same. Yeah. See a little grapefruit. Can I and then it? this is a maracuja. Now, these look like they could break your teeth. Yeah. Let's see. Um, they are sour fruit. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not so these fruit toffees are the ultimate carnival classic, famously tossed from the festival's giant parade cliffs into crowds of eager children. But you got to get on camera, honey. Um, for, lo for, for locals, young and old, their salt chewy and tangy flavors never fail to evoke that special feeling of carnival excitement. It kind of looks like a marshmallow. Wait, is this corn flavor? Oh, it's soft. Mm. But this corn? Mm, mm, mm. I think it's pomegranate. I don't know what maracuja is. Maracuja? But it kind of looks like a little pomegranate, maybe. Mm. I just know it's good. And I was expecting it to be a lot harder and like almost break your teeth chewy like a Starburst, but it was super soft. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like a tangy, sweet, it's soft, like, chewy oh, like Starburst. I can break it in half. Because Starbursts are usually hard, but I can break this one in half. Yeah, it was super soft and squishy almost, but like in a good way. I chewy, know, like a soft chewy. It's kind of like, I can like squish it. So... That was the Germany Yum Box, and next month, the February I've already seen on my Facebook feed, is going to be from Italy, and I am super excited about the Italy box. Um, I would like to upgrade to more than the six basic snacks, because Italy ha is known for just some delicious food. So don't forget to like and subscribe this video and our channel, and also check out next um, our next video when we react to the Italy Yum Box. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks and bye.